Oh, there we go. Tedron. Or iTedron. Maybe it's an iPhone app or something. No, it's actually limited run. Uh, limited run games to be exact. You can see there, you've got like the full uh, logo. It's kind of just been ripped off. Um, basically, it's because... Let me hide my address. Um, yeah, this is the, the box that it came in. Um, you've got the delivery notice on the front. It's got uh, physical media. My favourite type of media, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was... Um, in front of it, obviously it took a bit of a, it was a pain in the ass to get off because the actual wrapping was kind of stuck around it. But yeah, as soon as I peeled it off, it just peeled the whole label off. So there you go, reverse iTed run games is what it's currently at at the moment. But here's the box. Uh, this is actually um, limited run set number two. Um, so this is actually the second set that they've actually done. The first one being limited run games for Switch number one, which was Thimbleweed Park. And this is... Uh, limited run games number two and three, which is Mercenary Kings and Flint Hook. Um, however, Flint Hook and Mercenary Kings came at the same time. They sometimes do two Switch games at once. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is one of them as well. So, yeah, it's quite cool to get two. Um, I actually don't have Thimbleweed Park. I I didn't really kind of jump onto it right away, even despite the fact that I'd already been buying uh, limited run games games before anyway. So, I. I uh, kind of regret not being able to get Thimbleweed Park. It means I'm going to have to consult to... Uh, I've already signed up for the um, like a waiting list to see if they get any more in or they use the reserve stock later on, but I've basically signed up for Thimbleweed Park. Otherwise, I'll just jump on eBay and maybe buy it for a little bit of a higher price. But yeah, it's cool though. This is uh, really sick. Um, this is my first... Um, again, my first one, if I didn't miss out on Thimbleweed Park, my first one set of limited run games for Switch. And these are so sick. I mean, there's there's a lot of weight inside these as well. I thought they'd just be kind of, you know, your your, your regular Switch games where there's not really much to it. It's literally just this inside, or in the other instances of um, Super Rare games, or Ready to Dispatch games, or the limited run alternatives like uh, FDG. But um, yeah, these are these are really cool. There's there's definitely more in here than what I was expecting as well. Um, so the box out there, it's a little bit, little bit bland. Could maybe do a couple, maybe a bit more artwork. Maybe had some characters lined up. Um, just, just make it a little bit nicer, I guess. Uh, Flint, what? Flint Hook, sorry. Very, very cool. I love the artwork for that as well. Again, Mercenary Queen is quite cool. But um, yeah, Flint Hook, very, very nice one cover there. And the back as well. Um, doesn't seem to be having anything on it. There's no text. How very strange. Um, I do like having a little bit of text in the back, <laughs> just, I mean, just typical with games as well, it's about presentation. So we're looking here at, uh, is this number one or number two? Oh, this is number two, yeah, limited run 002 CVR, and this is limited run 003 CVR. So yeah, that's cool. This is, um, yeah, two and three, um, and here are the cards as well. I did get regular cards, it seems. There are rare instances where you will get... Uh, the gold border cards. I don't have any of those, but again, I'm not really too fast. And once I open these up, these are just going to go inside of it anyway. Um, let me cover these up just in case. Um, here are my limited run uh, ticket things, which I don't actually use. I'm going to just put them inside the box anyway. Um, I may have to actually use them at some point and see what they have in the store. But yeah, there you go. Flint Hook and Mercenary Kings. Let's actually open these up and see what's inside because, yeah, there's a lot more to this than I was expecting. Um, I, didn't, I didn't actually realise that it would be more than just a game, but it seems like, it turns out there's going to be a manual and stuff. Um, it gets to a point now when it comes to ready to dispatch games, super rare games, limited run games, East Asia games, all them not, that I literally just buy them. I don't actually look at what the content is. I just know that I'm getting a physical copy of a limited print game and I just put my money down for it, like as is. So I love it. I love it already. Um, we've got a reversible cover art as well, which is quite cool there. So if we look at, uh, let's move that out of the way. We'll move Flint Hook and all this stuff out of the way as well. But yeah, this is um this is uh, a reversible cover. So let's just take the manual out first and have a look at the cover itself. Oh, it's like a mini art book. That's cool. I think I've already just dented the back of it. Bloody brilliant. Um, so there's the alternate cover art. Actually, let's just take out. Uh, I don't want to take out. I'm doing it with one hand already. So you've got purple front and a couple of dudes in the back, and then that thing. I've never actually played Mercenary Kings, um, so I'll have to probably pop this in and give it a go. Um, and there's the back. And then if we turn it around, <laughs> you can see we've basically just reversed the colour scheme. So it's the same artwork, but it does now have purple on the back and the orange kind of colour on the front. I do like that one there just because I like how the characters stand up. But I'm, uh, colors, uh, purple's my favourite colour, so I do like having this on display more as opposed to having, you know, that on display more as well. Which is why actually why I really like the Flint Hook cover as well. Really nice dark kind of moody atmospheric look to it. I say atmospheric, but I like that kind of night sky look. Um... 
So yeah, they're both actually really good covers. Um, I, I always like having uh, alternate print art. One of them, funny enough, that I have, I really like as well, is um, the Switch release of um, Disgaea. It's actually reversible as well. So I'm, I've opted in for this cover here. However, if you open it up, <laughs> you can get that one. But I think the character combination, the layout is a bit of a mess compared to this, which I think looks really, really cool, really nice. So yeah, that's um, another bonus there. So let's actually have a look at the uh, some of the stuff that we get. So there's obviously the game itself. It's the orange cover, um, just smaller with some of the characters moved around as well. Looks really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it like that as is. Um, we'll also put the um, the collector card from Nintendo Run Games in it, and I'll put one of the tickets inside there as well. So yeah, this is the book as well. I keep also got to stop saying so yeah. So yeah, this is the art book. Um, it looks like it's a little comic book as well. Oh, that's that's neat. I did not even know there was a comic book. Yeah, it's the kind of it's the kind of thing that makes me realise maybe I should I should probably check out what I'm putting my money down for. But that is quite neat. And there's a little little bit of dirt stuck there. I'll pull that off afterwards. Yes, yes, yes. It's quite neat. <laughs> it's the reasons for stuff like this that I actually enjoy physical media. And also because it is a limited series print as well. So there's only going to be, I think there's like 4,000 copies of this. But yeah, this is quite neat. I like this. I'll have to give it a little bit of a read. Um, I will probably play the game at some point. But you know, there's a lot coming out soon, like Spider-Man. Um, I've got to catch up with Fortnite and stuff. So I'm not going to be too too into it just yet. But yeah, it's a neat little comic book. I thought that was an art book. But it's actually a little comic book. And it feels really great. Um, the quality of the book itself is great. Um, same with limited run games. And all these other ones in general, they, they do go out of their way to really make sure that the actual switch game and everything is of the best quality itself so i'm very happy about that um and i'm also happy that uh, i got a little bit extra as well i didn't actually know i was coming with an art book very very neat there i'm really excited to see what's in flint hook now as well um there's a game, a game i flint hook, flint hook is a game i have actually played so um i kind of already know what to expect and i think i'll put this on on top as well and then i'll tear one of these tickets off uh let's just put that there for a sec Let's tear off one of these tickets, and we'll put one of them inside here. So all of the all of the limited run games that I have, they all have one of these tickets, and I've put one ticket in each of the games. So like some of my PS4 collection are in there. Um, they've all got that as well. But that's that's neat. That is generally very very cool. Uh, it's very very neat there. Um, it doesn't have the numbers on the side. So if I get some of my PS4 games, uh, it's actually too far to reach. But at least it's on the back. But I'll still put them in order anyway. Yeah, so that's uh, Mercenary Kings, Reloaded Edition, very cool. And then we've got Flint Hook, and the art card for this is great as well. The little limited one print collectible trading card thing. Very, very cool. It's got number 73 there. I don't know why it says 73, because I thought it was based on... I don't, know, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's... Oh, is it numbered? Yeah, 183. Maybe that's what it is, yeah. I don't actually know what the trading cards are for. I'll have to check them, because I've got like loads. Like I've got Night Trap on PS4, 2040, 2064... Um, it's really I've got quite a few. Um, I've just I picked up Lethal League as well, but because I'm, I don't want to spend so many money on just buying games, especially if I'm willing to run games, even though they are well, considered to be quite cheap. Um, keep on, I am having to pay for a decent amount on shipping fees, like ten pounds just to ship it. So I'm technically paying about thirty-five quid just to get this, which again isn't too bad. Um, it's a little bit under a, Switch, a normal Switch game or just over, but it is an indie game and stuff like that. But it is also limited, so. Yeah, I've had to stop buying PS4 and just go completely in for Switch because I am actually collecting for Switch as well. Um, so yeah, let's look at Flint Hook. Uh, great front cover, honestly. This is very, very nice. Uh, Most of the Kings, great artwork, but Flint Hook, definitely my favourite of the one so of the two so far. Um, still got a little bit just kind of stuck there on the back. Yeah, loving it. Uh, great stuff. Uh, also a really fun game as well. I'm sure Most of the Kings is the same, but yeah, this is this is honestly great artwork. I love it looks incredible oh it's yeah and because it, it, it doesn't have a back to it it's also a full pre full page um spread there as well so don't know i don't know where that hook is coming from but no it's cool i love it great stuff oh wow look at that artwork oh oh okay okay i like that oh i might have to reverse that that's that's a tough one don't know which one to go for looks like we've got another comic book as well let's have a look there Oh, it's a mini art book. Flint Hook, the mini art book. That's that's very, very neat. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. 
yeah, this that's really neat. Character design. Oh, this is this is great. This is. <laughs> I'm really excited now to get the rest of my limited run games because I've ordered every single one that's come through, uh, as I did mention before, except for Thimbleweed Park or Tumbleweed Park, whatever it's called. So I need to. I'm really excited to see what's going to be coming now with the rest of the Switch games because this is neat. This is great. I love art books. I love like um, developer diary kind of things, or how the game was made and stuff like that. As much as I think the Mercenary Kings comic book is great, I'm also I'd I'd probably opt in more for this kind of stuff here. But this is this is phenomenal. Really neat. Really cool stuff. Yeah, I'm really happy with that actually. Um, that artwork though as well. Oh, that's that's a nice one. That's that's a very action packed looking one. That's a really nice simple kind of concept. But that artwork there, ooh, I'm I'm probably gonna switch that over actually. I will actually switch that over. Oh, I don't know, I don't know which one to have out. Oh, it's great, really solid front cover on the uh, character on the front of the cover there. But then there's that one which is doing like a little bit of an action piece grabbing and stuff. Yeah, we'll go for that one. We'll go for that. We'll actually switch that around. Oh, and the cartridge itself does actually have that artwork on the front. It does look a little bit out of line, but I guess it's because of the rating is there, but. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll have this one as to represent it and the one on the cartridge itself to um, be on the outside. So, yeah, I'll do that afterwards, actually. I don't want to do it one hand in case I damage the front cover sleeve. But, yeah, this is uh, this is everything. This is the whole package itself. These are the two games that have uh, just been sent out to everyone. So this is Limited Run Games number two and three. Um, and I'm happy. I think Limited Run Games have done a great job so far. This is This is incredible. Good stuff.